I prefer to use my iPad to upload PNGs and JPEGs to Cricut Design Space because it has two features that the desktop and Android versions don't have, Despeckle and Smooth. I'm going to walk you through how to use them, but they don't apply to vector files like SVGs and DXF. So before you decide to interrupt your workflow to upload on your iPad, let's briefly cover which file types this applies to and which it doesn't. Design Space Blanket Statement, you can upload SVG, JPEG, BMP, PNG, GIF, DXF. iOS Design Space Clarifying Statement, you can upload SVGs and any images saved to your photos. We do not support TIFF or PDF files or DXF on mobile devices. Nitty gritty details. The Despeckle and Smooth tools don't work with SVGs. It works with those images that can be saved to your photos like PNGs and JPEGs. This is Hank's Maker Mentor. Before you can upload an image, you need something to upload. I'm using this file from designbundles.net. I've included a link to it below. All of these designs are PNGs. If I want a design that's not available as an SVG, I look for a PNG. It's easier to work within Design Space because it has a transparent background. You have less to clean up. They're designed to be printed and work great with print and cut and sublimation. Design Bundles offers unlimited lifetime downloads of the files you purchase. Here in my list of purchases, I click on Download Files, and this box appears to select what files I want to download. This particular one has a single folder, but other designs have multiple folders. For example, if you can choose which file types to download individually, a specific font from a bundle, or things like that. When I click on the folder in Chrome, it opens in a new tab, and I need to click on Download. After it downloads, I click open it. You can open it wherever you want. I have a design bundles folder, so I'm going to save it there. Now I go to the home screen and click on the files folder. I need to navigate into my design bundles folder. It is currently a zip folder. Cricut can't do anything with it yet. Unzipping is really easy. You just click on the icon. With my sort preferences, the unzipped folder shows up right next to the zipped folder. Sometimes they show up separate and you'll need to scroll to find it. These are now ready to upload to Design Space. Home button again and then open up Design Space. I'm going to select a new project to upload the files, but you can go to the project the file is intended for. At the bottom of your canvas, you have Upload. iOS has four options. You choose which one's right for you. Take a photo, select from photo library, browse files, and open uploaded images. I click on browse files and navigate to the folder I just unzipped. The zipped folders are lighter in color because they can't be chosen. Here's the folder. In it you'll see the PNGs are vibrant and the PDF documents are faint because those can't be uploaded either. I'm going to use this women are stronger when we work together design. To cut this out of vinyl I want to have the letter solid. This doesn't need to have anything removed, erased, or cropped out, so I'm going to go ahead and click Next. It brings us to Despeckle and Smooth. Despeckle is a slider. If it removes too much, just slide it back to the left until the section returns. Smooth is a button that you can press. Each time you press it, it acts kind of like offset. It enlarges the design with fewer points. It saves it as a single file. Reset is here if you need it. You can experiment and use a combination of both. This file I went with Despeckle and a single click of Smooth to finish it up. The cleaner you get the design here, the better it will cut on your machine. Even if you're doing the design small and the tiny speckles won't be seen, your Cricut will still cut them. They take forever. Trust me, I've made that mistake before. On the preview, it isn't showing the changes from Despeckle and Smooth, but after you select either Cut or Print Then Cut, name it and save it, you can insert it onto your canvas and see that those changes were saved. If you do forget to clean out a speckle or something, don't stress. You can go back in and clean it up on the canvas it just takes a couple of extra steps. I hope it was helpful to see how to upload 
images to Design Space on your iPad or iPhone. If you want to see how to upload SVGs, check out this video here. The icons have changed a little, but the workflow is the same. If this video was helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching Hank's Maker Mentor. Until next time, bye.